Hey guys, welcome back to another Flesh and Blood video. This video is proudly brought to you by the House of Cards, the official sponsor of my stream. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for all of your Flesh and Blood needs. Victor versus Katsu is a very interesting matchup because Katsu has been around for quite a while but hasn't really taken a huge popularity to the metagame until in the last 30 days really. Katsu has gotten a lot of really cool cards like Bonds of Ancestry and Descendant Gust Wave over the last 6 months to a year, but in the last 2-3 to three months he's really taken off in popularity with the concept of being able to use Breeze Rider Boots and Mask of the Pouncing Links to throw triple or quad Bonds in a turn which is absolutely crazy and can total upwards of 50 points of damage. Now Victor does have some play into Katsu because he's able to use cards like Test of Strength and Trounce to be able to block efficiently and still throw back damage and put Katsu on the back foot, which can be really good, especially when Victor's able to utilize cards like Spinal Crush or Crush the Weak. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you enjoy the match. Okay, we're playing against Katsu, and our opponent decided for us to go first, which I think is a good decision from them. Um, I'm thinking we can just make a Surge and throw Disable here. I don't know, there might be some world where we just pass an arsenal to sink below, honestly. Like, I don't really want to let them fuel their graveyard, so I think we're just supposed to pass here. Um, maybe I, I I definitely should have made a surge there. Like, <laughs> I wasn't thinking at all. I should have, like, pitched the terrace under to play the sur make a surge there. Um, and that way I would have been set up for a little bit of a better hand in case I needed to block a lot with the surge. Um, that was just a... That was definitely just a... Misclick on my part. Let's go ahead and block seven here. We'll win the test of strength, okay? The whelming gust wave comes in for four, so we're just going to go ahead and block six here. Put some cards into their graveyard there, and we're just going to swing the hammer after that. Um, the surge would have it wouldn't have mattered there, um, but still, like it would have been a better play to have the surge. It was definitely just a misplay on my part there. Would have been better off to have it one hundred percent of the time. And they take one. Okay, we're looking at another test of strength hand, which is pretty good. Um, we're gonna take the first Kadachi. On the second Kadachi, I'm going to block with the Cranial Crush. Just because like we want to block. The Kadachi's getting three points worth of value out of a card there. Um, and then we'll just give the Test of Strength. and Yep. Pretty good hand right there. Like We ended up taking one point off the Kadachi. We're going to throw the Command and Conquer here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's make a surge and then just throw the command and conquer. Um, this will force two cards out of my opponent's hand. But <clears throat> the beginning of the game, my Katsu opponent's really just trying to like build up um, their graveyard anyway, so they can pop off and have like a crazy big turn to start off the game with. Just take six here instead of okay. That's interesting. That is really interesting to me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and block. With the buckling blow. I mean, yep, when they have the... They, the empowerments kind of give them, like, the value that they want. Um, throughout, like, the... Like, like there's just nothing I can do about it. Like, unless I have, like, a test of strength, or, like, I wasn't going to give up the sink below. I'm, like, really waiting to give up the sink below the here, so... Get a Bonds of Ancestry. Okay. I mean, they've already done dumb Katsu stuff, so like, what are they just gonna get a Fluster Fist after this? Yeah, so they get rid of their Fluster Fist and get a red one. We will take one, go to 37. And then we're definitely just gonna take the Kadachis. I have no interest in blocking the Kadachis pretty much ever. Um, and when they throw the Fluster Fist, we'll probably give Orami just here, if I had to guess. I mean, I, like, we have two gold already. Like, there's no reason to, like, give the... Like, we should just go to 31 and throw the Choke Slam here. I think that's fine. Um, the Ancestral Empowerment really allowed them to have, like, a pretty decent turn there. Um, we're just, like, again, there's, like, there's no world where they're going to crack Breezies and Mask here. And if they do, deal. Like, 100%. You have one card in hand. That is a terrible use of that for them. So, 
yeah, my opponent makes a good decision to not do that, and then we're just going to throw eight at our opponent here. Um, I could have given the sink below to the fluster fist there to just like try and play for value, which I don't think was a bad idea if that was a route I wanted to go, but I think I would much rather just be... I think I would rather just hang on to the sink below. Like, if I ever see another one, I can give it up if I need to. Okay. Gives up his equipment, which means he's going to try and have a pop-off turn at some point here. Um, Let's block with Trounce. See what we get off the Trounce here. Hopefully we win. I'd like to not have to reclash here, but we'll see what happens. Yep, and we win a Spinal Crush. Now, right now, based off how the turn is looking, we can block with the... So right now, if our opponent does, just throws Kadachis at us... No, he has the Bonds here. Okay. So, just had the pieces lined up here to just be able to play out his turn. Um, Let's see. If I give the Spinal Crush, I take one. Yeah, give the Spinal Crush, take one. There's nothing to Katsu. And then Kadachi, Kadachi, Fluster Fist. I think I might just go ahead and give up the sink on this Fluster Fist here. Like, we're just going to try and have like a... We're just going to try and block a little bit. And then Crush the Weak is not a bad card here for us at all. Does this say can't be played from hand? They can't play attack action cards. So, yeah. We're just going to play the sink below for no sink here. Um, yeah, I think we'll just take the value here of the sink below and just say, okay. Um, not sink anything. We'll make a new surge and throw Crush the Weak for eight. Which means our opponent is going to have to give us two cards here to stop the Crush effect. Which is pretty good um, against against Katsu, I think. Like it stops, like you know, like it stops a lot of their cards. Um, like it stops like Descendant Gust Wave. It stops Whelming Gust Wave. It stops Yellow and Blue Bonds. Um, like it gets. There's a lot of value out of this card, in my opinion. Um, like I think there's a lot of value in this card in this matchup. <laughs> okay. We're just going to give the Trounce here. All right. That's not exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to win with a blue. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. So they have a Bonds of Ancestry on top of their deck. So this costs three. And we have one floating. Um, I kind of wanted to block with the Test of Strength. And let's see, we don't know what's on top of our deck. So technically, I could pitch the Spinal Crush here. I mean, I could just throw the Spinal for 10, right? <laughs> Pitching everything. Uh, five. This costs five. It costs four, which means this costs three, which means I just have to pitch all of my cards here, which is fine. Like, I think this is a perfectly fine play. Um, we're setting up a test of strength for, like, second cycle if the game goes that long, which we'll probably try to, like, we'll probably try to use that to bail us out at some point. Um, and this demands three cards for them to have go again if they want because of the might token, which is awesome. So, I mean, the Spinal Crush definitely wasn't what, like, we wanted to see a blue off the top, but it ended up working out pretty well for us, I think, here to just be able to throw the Spinal Crush for 10 and set up a test of strength for second cycle here. Now, we would have drawn into the blue, but I don't think I'm ever playing that way, if I'm being honest. Um, if he goes to throw the Kadachis here, oh, he just passes. Okay, well, we're definitely going to, um, tear asunder hammer here. Like, tear asunder hammer is, like, a fantastic play. I also am, like, really testing boulder drop in the deck right now to see how I feel about boulder drop, um, over clash of vigor. The fact that it's a five does help us, like, win clashes a little bit more. Um, and it takes away the aspect of Titan's Fist being a three sometimes. So I am a bigger fan of it in that aspect. It pretty much turns Titan Fist always into a four. Um, Clash of Vigor makes it to where sometimes you do not have access to swing um, to swing Titan Fist for four. This does not have go again. Insane. Um, okay. Well, if we win this trounce, which we did with the Thunk, Value Town, Population, Us. Um, this is awesome. We get to go E-Strike, 
for five go again, putting the choke slam on the bottom because we would, or I'm sorry, for seven go again because we would rather see the choke slam. So we're going to put them down to 13 and then we're going to swing 10 overpower, destroying one of our pieces of gold. We have yet to have to reclash or do anything like this. This has been a very good game for us. Our opponent's at three and we have a sink below in Arsenal. So I am very inclined to block five here. Um, actually, should I block four or do we think they have both of them? They haven't played, they haven't played an Art of War yet. So they've probably been trying to set up two of them. Let's go ahead and give Debilitate and Oramegis and see what they do. I think this is an okay line of play for me. This allows me to play around them having an Ancestral Empowerment and an Art of War. I was like, we know they have an Art of War here, so I think we're supposed to overblock. The one thing we have to be careful about is letting them get us with a tenacity at the end of the chain for like, you know, it's generally between it's eight or nine points. Sometimes it can be ten. Um, depending on how many cards we block with. I think let's block five here. Like, this is the turn they set up to try and pop off. Let's, we're just going to block everything if we need to here. Um, this is for five. So if I block with Command and Conquer and Gauntlets, they can't push anything over the top. Because of the gauntlets trigger. They don't have the ability to breaking scales it. Not that I, I don't know if they would have or not right there. But like that that was a really big turn for us. Because they needed to hit with one of those first attacks there. Like they were, they were looking to use the Art of War to go over the top. And the fact that they didn't have both means we're now in the driver's seat for this game. Like this is, this is really good because now they have to block hammer the rest of the game. Which is awesome. Like that's great for us. There's a lot of value out of that. Um... I mean, they haven't seen an Art of War, so the idea that they have another one or an Empowerment does not seem that crazy to me. So I think let's just block six here. Okay, they don't have it, which is fine. Like, if they don't have it, that's fine. I was like, that is actually okay. Um, block E-Strike. I mean, yeah, like... And then swing Kadachi. Yep, absolutely. Huge win for us. We're going to swing the hammer again. We're blocking efficiently, keeping our sink below in Arsenal, and we are just playing we are just playing our best Oldham impression right now, except we're up, you know, twenty-five points playing Oldham impression, which if Oldham got to start the game, you know, at sixty-five as opposed to forty, like <laughs> how stupid that would be. There's an ancestral harmony. And now we have double sink below that we can use if we need to. I'd like to be able to keep the Macho Grande and the Crush the Week here. Um, I'm just going to say no blocks here. And I'm curious to see. Like The only thing that really punishes us is the Ancestral Empowerment. Um, we're going to play Sink Below. I'm going to put the Terra Sunder on the bottom. I was like, I'd rather find a different blue to block with here. <laughs> So let's block, let's block five. Actually, we should block with the civic steps here, right? Yeah, we should definitely block with the civic steps here, I think. Even if they're going to set up for next turn, like if they're just going to pass and set up for next turn, we're going to throw seven at them and Arsenal another sink below. Like everything has come together for us this game. Like everything has lined up super well for us. It's been absolutely awesome. They have to give us another card or they're going to give us mask like and I think now they're at the point. Yeah, like they just realized the game's over from here. This game started out in a really positive way for my opponent. They were able to start filling their graveyard while trading damage with me and kind of walking the life totals down. And then all of a sudden, like a trounce turns into me being able to throw a spinal crush. And then it was like a command and conquer or crush the week. It was just a lot of really good cards back to back to back. And that really put me in the driver's seat. And by the time my opponent tried to flip the game, it was 28 to 3. 
And although that can be done, I had every single piece of equipment left and it's just tough to come back from that. I do think that Victor is a slight favor in this matchup overall, but I think that you have to play this very cleanly as Victor. If you make a blocking error or if the Katsu like really blows you out with a certain like double Art of War play or like some crazy buff, like it is just really hard to come back once you fall behind. So I think as Victor, the idea is to apply pressure early and use trounces and test of strengths to get ahead and keep your foot on the gas. Guys, if you see anything you think I missed, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.